Welcome back to week three of AGPC. I'm doing this in a voiceover because I hated my voice in the original recording. Sorry there was no episode last week. I got a little bit busy and I forgot to remind everyone to film, but the contestants did learn next week's theme, so they've already been working on their photos. But this week's theme is music video recreations, so they pretty much just had to recreate any scene from a music video. So I don't have any videos from Becca this week, so it's just going to be Andrea and I giving our critiques. And then right before I get started, I have two things I want to mention. Number one, Flowers AG had to drop out of the competition because she was a bit busy with AG and DM. She did still send me a photo that she was going to submit for this week, but unfortunately we don't have her in the competition. So now there's nine people instead of 10. And also Scraps of the Sky wasn't able to submit a photo this week, but they are still part of the competition. They will just get a zero as their score for this week. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first photo is from Project AG Runway and she did 17. It's a really cute photo. My only big critique is that the perspective is a little bit off because in the actual video, the people are a lot smaller and the door is a lot bigger. So either just fix that up with forced perspective or by making a bigger door and the clouds are also a little bit off, but it's a really great photo and a really creative music video to recreate. Project AG Runway, I think this is really pretty. I would say that I think the cloud should probably be a bit bigger based on the original uh, photo to make it a little bit more accurate. Um, but the editing and the lighting are really well done and I really like how you built this set too. So next up is Dreamful Dollies and she did Single Ladies, the version by the Chipettes and this was my childhood song. Really, really creative idea. The lighting on the dolls is a little bit harsh, which normally is the case on a stage. However, in the movie, the lighting isn't that harsh on the chipettes, so I would probably just try and use softer lighting next time. They also look really edited in, and the tails and ears also look very edited in. So work on doing a smoother cutout, but really, really creative idea. Uh, Dreamful Dollies. Uh, I really like this because um, this movie used to be like one of my favorite movies of all time. <laughs> I think their uh, outfits are perfect. I really like how you have Eleanor wearing the shoes, but the others are barefoot. I think that's a really nice touch. Um, but the editing is a little bit rough, and I think you should add the shadows under them. Next up is All Dolled Up and She Did Me. This is really, really accurate. I love the Vivo. I love everything about this. So your boy doll is looking a little bit down in your photo, but in the actual video, Brendan is looking up. And same with Taylor's face, she's kind of looking at the camera in the actual video. And that's just me being very nitpicky about the screenshot itself, but really just great job. The cutout around the boy is a little bit messy, but it doesn't distract from the overall photo, so great job. So for all dolled up, uh, I think the knee bend looks pretty good. Um, it's really accurate and um, I would say that there's just like a few minor editing mistakes like around her hair, it looks a little odd, but yeah, I love the Vivo in the corner. I think it's really good. The next photo is from Pepper and Salt AG and it's one of my all-time favorite songs, Hit Me Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. So this outfit is really, really perfect. So the photo is a little bit grainy and I know that you added some grain to kind of add the vintage feel but I feel like a filter would have worked better or even adding a little dark vignette because I feel like the whole video kind of has that whole vintage look to it. But I also would have done a more complicated scene because this is just a really simpler scene where her outfit stands out. And I feel like if you want to do this video, do like one of the scenes where they're all dancing in the hallway. Great job on the outfit. It's just a little bit too simple of a photo for my taste. Pepper and Salt AG, I uh, did Hit Me Baby one more time. Uh, they have like the perfect outfit, but I wish the effect on the photo was a bit more apparent because I think you did try and edit it to look more like the original, but it just kind of ends up looking low quality rather than more like the original. Next up is the AG Studios 380 and she did Hard Times by Paramore. In the actual video, the singer, who I believe is Hayley Williams, she has really light skin and light hair. So one way to do that is just make your photo that you took of the original doll a little bit more exposed and that will make her skin look whiter and I feel like that would help. The background's amazing, the clouds are amazing, the rain's amazing, I love the eye makeup and I also love the little shadow that you added. So just the coloring's off but everything else is great. AG Studios 380, um, 
I really like how you edited this too. I wish the teardrops looked a little more like the ones in the original because they kind of look like clip art. Um, but they, yeah, like that's just me being picky. But I think you did the shadow really well and the outfit and the little makeup and everything is pretty good. Pretty accurate. Next up is Blue Moon AG and she did All the Good Girls Go to Hell by Billie Eilish. So this photo looks a little bit too over edited for me. I would say that in the original, even though it's a fantasy theme, it still looks really natural. And this one just looks a bit too over edited for me with the dark eyes and the really, really pale skin. So I would have fixed up that a little bit. The outfit though is amazing and all the little details, I love it so much. Also, the cutout around the wings is a little bit off, but they are feathers, which is a bit hard to get a perfect cutout on, but just try and maybe spend a bit more time cleaning that up next time. Great job, though. Uh, Blue Moon AG did this uh, recreation from All the Good Girls Go to Hell. Uh, I think the cutout is a bit rough, but you did have feathers, and that's very hard to do, so I'll give you props for trying that. Um, and I really like the dedication that you put into this photo and like putting this outfit and all that on your doll so it's very impressive. The next one is from Glass Handed Dolls and she recreated Humongous by Declan McKenna. So I really love the background in your photo and the way that there's the little pink coming through in the eyes, I really love that. It's not really that accurate of a recreation giving the screenshot that you sent me. So maybe add in some band members in the background, something like that. To conclude this, I think it's not an amazing recreation because it doesn't fully look like the video, but the photo itself is really good quality and really pretty. Uh, Glass Handed Dolls who did Humongous. Um, I wish the lighting was more dramatic in this to match the original photo more. Like you can see there's more shadows on his face and then yours is like really well lit. And like I know you want to be able to see the face but I think if you're doing a recreation you can get away with doing a more dramatic lighting. Finally we have AG Spirit Studios with Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. This is amazing. My one complaint would be to do either a wider shot just because you can see that at least in the screenshot you sent me, it's one of the wider angles. I would also try and find a blue light or something that you can do to add some more blue lighting in your photo because the original one is very cool toned and I feel like your photo is a lot more warm toned. But overall, this is just amazing. I love all the details from the little stereo and the Christmas trees and the lights in the background. Great job. AG Spirit Studios, I really like this. I think the outfits are perfect. Um, the doll's hair are perfect. I would think that the only thing that would make it even more accurate was if they had the black gloves that they're wearing in the original photo. So those were all of the photos for this week. So here is the overall final ranking. So next week's theme is going to be good versus evil. I already told you guys in the chat what it is, but you pretty much have to submit either one photo or two photos that kind of depict something good, something evil. I want you guys to get creative with this. And if you guys want some inspiration, check out the Drag Race runway from season 10, which was like evil twins or something like that, because that has a lot of good inspiration in there if you want something really abstract. So your photos are due this Wednesday. I know it's not a lot of notice, but I did tell you guys already in the chat so thanks so much for Andrea for helping me out with the critiques this week and I will see you guys soon with either a new video or a new episode of AGPC bye guys mm -hmm.